Welcome back. The chairman of Nevada's COVID-19 task force says Nevada's economy, of course, has suffered more damage than any other place in America. But Jim Murren adds Las Vegas should be able to rebound quicker than other cities if the public and the business community are on the same page. Murren, the former CEO of MGM, the largest employer in the state, is chairman of a private sector blue ribbon panel created by the governor to tackle the state's most immediate needs since the virus hit. Today, he told the I-Team's George Knapp that reopening the economy won't be possible if the public ignores public health guidelines. But health-wise, compared to other states, I mean, it's bad. You know, 6,100 cases and a couple of hundred deaths, but we're much better off health-wise than a lot of states. And it, in part, it would be our major industry got the word early and it, it didn't need an order to shut down. It did it on its own. Well, I think there's a lot to be proud of during this crisis, uh, and uh, Nevada has fared uh, better than people predicted and uh, much better than many other states. And a lot of it had to do with courage of conviction from many of the private employers. Um, I was at MGM when uh, we decided to shut down the entire uh, portfolio of resorts on the Las Vegas Strip uh, as that was the same day that Wynn Resorts made the same very uh, smart decision. These aren't decisions that come um, lightly, uh, but they were the right decisions to make. As with everything else these days, wearing masks, not wearing masks, it becomes tribal identity, political identity, partisan issue with people not only refusing to wear masks, but giving a bad time to people who do. Um, you know, what do you do about that? I, I really struggle with this. I really struggle with the idea that um, a point of view could be that it is our, our right as Americans to put others at risk. I mean, that's basically what the message is. is it, I don't feel like I, I need to make any sacrifice in order to help one another. Um, and I really um, I'm opposed to that point of view. Uh, I understand um, that this has been an incredibly trying time for all of us, uh, for Nevadans. But I think that we're losing sight of the debate. This shouldn't be a debate between um, is public health and the economy. Um, it should be a you know, shared responsibility. There's no doubt that anyone that has studied this for more than 10 minutes, um, there's no doubt that if we do not have um, you know, strong public health underpinnings to our economic recovery plan, the economy will not sustainably recover. It's economics 101 that uh, business activity is based on consumer confidence. If consumers lack the confidence uh, to conduct daily business, to enjoy um, being outside or being with friends or shopping or going to restaurants, if that confidence remains low uh, because of fear, because incident rates spike, spike up again, then there is no business that will, can recover. We just have to understand that, I think, that we're aligned here, that business confidence, consumer confidence, is what we should all be shooting for here. We should be, that should be our goal, because that will lead to not only a recovery, but a sustained recovery. And in a state like Nevada, where over 40% of our budget, the budget that takes care of our kids in school, that keeps us safe, And Murren compared the COVID-19 crisis to other large-scale events that have really shaken Las Vegas, including the foreclosure crisis and one October mass shooting in 2017, but says our city and our state have never faced anything as serious as the coronavirus. If you'd like to see the full interview with George, we'll post it later tonight on 8newsnow.com.